anyone questioning these things. And then, so Brody, Brody actually has 10,000 subscribers. Congratulations. I'm almost on day eight subscribers. Congratulations, Brody. So, Linux packaging. Packaging. Dear to my heart, I was once a Debian, whatever, package maintainer, whatever. Okay, in my last videos, I recommended using Flatpak to install Steam. But let me just give you my take on, on how packages should work. Packages, the way that just, uh, applications should be distributed on your operating system is using this thing called static binaries. <sighs> In fact, there was a cyclist project called Stali, which didn't get off the ground, which was based around this idea that when you ship your, your applications, they're all self-contained static binaries. And I know a lot of people are going to start jumping on like, oh, static binaries are dumb, they're big. Static binaries solve these packaging problems. So what <laughs> we have a real mess in the Linux ecosystem, right? What we should do is having static binaries, but instead, a lot of things are linked, right? Dynamically linked. I'm not too sure who to blame here. Uh, you know, GNU, maybe, um, NSS switch or something like that, something weird about it. But basically, in modern day Linux distributions, actually creating a static binary is non-trivial due to the way glibc, what have you, works. So everything's dynamically linked. Why is this a problem? This is a problem because like when Steam uh, and other proprietary software tries to ship a product based on uh, a certain uh, assumptions about the shared libraries across distributions, it's obviously not going to work. And now, the next solution is containers, you know, flat pack, snap, what have you. But <sighs> essentially, the, the huge problem I have with containers is, is that Unlike, say, the the Linux uh, ABI, the binary interface, which is which is which is pretty stable, the glibc uh, interface is less stable, and the container interface is even more less stable. Like all these C groups, all these um, interfaces on a container level are are completely unstable. They they're gonna break. They have break. They will break. It's a new thing. It's got a ton of problems. Like fundamentally, it never really solved like security issues. Like if you talk about security in containers, in reality, it, it's it's such a complexity nightmare that you can never be assured about these sort of questions. So you know, rewind. Can we get back to 1970s when we're like using a single binary and we're using uh, and and dropping privileges? I can't remember the command now for some reason. So yeah, um, Luke. Brody, uh, to be honest, I didn't watch Brody's <laughs> video, but but static binaries, that's that's where we should get back to. And it came to my attention once again, because I use Go because it, uses, it generates static binaries by default. So I thought it doesn't actually, it actually um, depends on glibc. And I discovered that glibc on my Arch machine is different to what it is on the AWS's runtime. And I ran into this like, glibc 2.32 not found. I asked this question, why is um, Go by default depending on glibc, which breaks between distributions? And unfortunately, this question is, I'll li link below, but it's been closed because it's opinion based. Um, you know, f furthermore, there's this scary issue here about Go Adding a static flag because it just doesn't build static binaries by default, unfortunately. That basically the way that, just to summarize here, the, the, the fundamental problem is that on GNU lib, uh, libc, glibc, making a static binary is pretty darn difficult. I'm actually not too sure why. P comments below. It's just a complexity nightmare. But if we got back to binary packages, I think would be in a better position. Instead, we have the usual cluster nightmare complexity world that we're living in. I mean, I, I honestly use flat packs and I don't really want to. I want to get back to static binaries and I hope I've highlighted that we really should be going back to static binaries and people who are smarter than me, let's try and make it happen. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.